Right, what's going on YouTube? Now, welcome to a new video. Now, this video is gonna be a little bit different and the idea came about because I w was totally oblivious to how many personal trainers actually will follow me from obviously coming off the back of the show, doing this and people just picking up on the fact that I'm a personal trainer and have my own gym. So I got a DM off a, a couple of people, but like more recently last week, he was just like, look, I need some help. How do I get more clients? How do I get more clients as a personal trainer? And I thought, what about a way to try and answer this question than to film a quick fire video on some of my like maybe top five tips and hopefully you can take something away from it. Now, tip number one is give away free content. Now, I don't necessarily mean free consultations and taster sessions, even though to be honest, I found that that was a really good way of me picking up clients when I was on the gym floor. Um, free taster sessions and consultations and stuff like that are great because it helps you build a rapport with the person straight away or not build a rapport. And you know pretty much from the get-go whether you are their type of person, they are your type of person, and it's not even about the training. It's not even about the taster session. It's just if they click, you'll probably get on and you'll know about it and you'll know whether to pursue it in probably the first 10 minutes. Now, the other thing that I found was giving away free content. I'm gonna talk about in person first, okay? When I was back on the gym floor, when I was in the gym, I cleaned up, okay? I'm not one to, like, I'm not trying to be cocky saying that, but there was 12 personal trainers there and I smashed every single one of them in terms of clients. And why did I do it? I used to go around the gym and try and give people free advice on things that I found that they were struggling with, okay? Whether it be something as simple as like how to set up the barbell back, back squat rack because guess what a lot of females are intimidated about going to the big rack and they will try and use studio bars which are only which will only go so far because quite a lot of them can't shoulder press the bar over onto the back and they need the rack but they're scared to use it because boys are dicks and quite a lot of the time it can put people off okay so i'm just going to say that there there is a lot of intimidation in the gym. So there's an example. Another example, okay? People swinging on the bicep curls, okay? Pro curls. Giving people tips like turning the pinky out to try and engage the biceps more. All of these little things, all of these things that I guarantee that you know because you are a good coach and you want to pick up more clients, start applying them. And the best thing to do, right? And I guarantee this is what worked with me all the time is go and give someone advice and walk away, okay? Change the game for them with something, with their squat position, with their stance. Change the game with them if they've got back pain with like a little bit of like, I don't know, a glute release or something like that. And then walk away and don't sell them. Don't pitch them yet, okay? Do it again, do it again. And then the third time, that's when you can say, oh, maybe if you tried like with me and you got a couple of sessions a week, then you might be able to like actually excel a little bit further. That's what works. Free content, free content, sell on the third time off the fourth time, okay? The same goes with online, with Instagram presence. Now I'm still learning this and I'm still trying to get better, but think about it, right? You give someone a tip about like, I've seen that one a million times where they put the 2.5 plate under the heavy deadlift bar to pull the plates off. I'll try and put it here if I can. Give someone free content, give someone helpful content. A couple of times, so one post, two posts, three posts, and every four posts, try and make a sales pitch. And that's gonna be more successful than trying to ram sale, sale, sale down someone's neck, in my personal opinion. Tip number two, think about your audience, okay? This is one that drives me crazy, okay? Because it's just super simple, okay? Think about the people, like, in the UK on average who take personal trainers, okay? To be honest, I'd probably say it's a little bit more female dominated, okay? They, females are happy enough and fair play to them, okay? To hold their hands up and say, I need a little bit of help. Men are more stubborn, okay? It tends to be men are more stubborn and they think, nah, whatever, I'll just go and do that. Even though they'll continue to do wrong things for years, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing is, who is your clientele, okay? and think about what you are posting to try and advertise for clients and does it relate to your audience? So I'm gonna give you an example. I wanna walk on my hands, I wanna do ring muscle ups and handstand push ups and snatch 100 kilos. Does Dorothy with the five successful hair salons that doesn't have time to train or wants a personal trainer to help her lose five pounds and feel good in a bikini does she care about snatches, handstand walks, and ring muscle ups? No, she doesn't. She cares about 
things that she knows that she should be doing in her head, which could be a walk and lunge and how to do them pain free without knee, without knee pain, okay? She cares about, oh, three quick tips on how to lose a dress size. She cares about, you get where I'm going with this, okay? You get the point. That's what she cares about. So if you are trying to get that person to travel halfway across town to come to you, why would you not put content on that she can relate to? Okay, why would you not put your female transformation clients on? Perhaps not every video of you training, perhaps a couple of videos of one of your female clients training because it's gonna be more relatable to her. Perhaps you get the idea, okay? Put now content there that is far too out of reach and the level that entry is too high for certain people will not attract the majority. It will attract the minority and you'll get some unbelievable clients now and then. You might get one in a blue moon who is very fit, who still wants even more help and he's gonna come with you and I guarantee you'll love training him or her. You'll love training that advanced individual, but you will get one of them every blue moon. You will get 10 to 20 Dorothy's with the hairdressers who just wanna lose a few pounds. So think about your audience when you're posting. Point number three, one that I did all the time at the start and especially when I was starting off sculpt. What people didn't realize about the gym when I first opened it is, I straight away opened the gym and had five full transformation groups of 10 people each. Now, did I have most of them paying? Yes, probably had 30, 35. But what were the other 15? The other 15 were a couple of friends that I knew needed a little bit of help, that were actual friends, that I said to them, if you do me a favor and come and do these eight weeks, okay, don't even pay us, just do a good transformation and make sure that you give me 100%. Getting free transformations from your friends that are gonna be successful, who other people in the gym don't need to know, other, me other people on social media don't need to know that they're not actually paying, okay? but they can be successful and you will have free content to post online when you advertise your next transformation block, when you advertise your next PT slot, which is available, that's gonna draw more people in. And guess what? The second time around, those people will be paying, okay? So the first ones, try and get a little bit of a transformation out of them. Make sure they're friends that, first of all, need to change a little bit. And second of all, you have a little bit of help and they're happy for me to use their transformation photos. And that will help bring in more paying customers in the future. That is one that I use all of the time when I was starting off my PT game. And then once I was successful and I had enough clients, I never did free ones again. But then when I opened up Sculpt, I went back to that phase and I went back to that cycle get a couple of really good transformations with them friends for free and you will absolutely kill it. You'll get so many more clients because it's word of mouth, okay? Those people are still gonna talk and just hopefully they'll not tell you that it's free. Point number four, this is gonna come across whichever way you take it, okay? You are your own advertisement. In my opinion, you have to have a certain degree of being in shape or being competent at your niche okay so what i'm going to say by that is you either have to be in shape because that is your focus you are a transformation expert you are but if you are someone who is like a strongman expert obviously you are going to hold probably the strongman like physique that is fine but if you are not your own advertisement in what your niche is if you're trying to teach people stuff that you don't follow yourself i don't understand and i can't comprehend how you're ever going to be successful okay and if you are in shape use it okay we are people we as humans are very vain we as humans are very drawn in by aesthetics so if you are in shape and you are a good personal trainer use it okay it it does my head in but i do the best edited peer videographer video in here about teaching someone how to squat better or deadlift better or something like that. The most clients I ever get and the most pickups I get, ever get online or in the gym is because it is a half naked selfie where I'm in good shape. So if you're a personal trainer that is in good shape, you need to be using it. And it's something that I always try and get. It's very vain and some people hate it, but if you are willing to put yourself out there, you will get more people coming in. I don't wanna say you have to be in shape as a personal trainer, but you have to be to a certain degree, healthy looking. You have to have, like, 
you can't be carrying around an unhealthy amount of body fat as a personal trainer, okay? I'm not talking about being ripped to death. I'm talking about being happy and healthy at that, like at least 20% body fat range, okay? Or being perfectly in a niche at your sport. If you're a powerlifter, people have that powerlifter look. People have that strongman look. That is absolutely fine, but you have to own your niche. Point number five, it is super simple and it sounds very cringy. Be consistent, work hard, and time, it will come, okay? I had to work so, so hard to try and get clients in the gym, clients on the gym floor, and I was relentless. Like, I did not, like any lead that came in, any email, any, and I failed numerous times at like guaranteeing that some people would come in, but, for every person, if you put yourself out there more, if you reply to every email, if you reply to every message, if you give free advice out and you keep chipping away, you keep on giving all consultations and stuff like that, the more you do, the more chances you have of bringing someone in, okay? What is it? You've got to buy a ticket to, to, be, to win it, okay? You have to do that. You have to put yourself out there and you have to just be consistent with it time after time after time. And once you get to the point where you have a client base, it is likely that you will probably never lose it because word of mouth travels. And if you are consistent, you still deliver a good performance in the gym. You still deliver good sessions. You look after your clients, you speak to them right, you build a rapport with them. Word of mouth will spread and you will never ever struggle to get clients. That is all, okay? That is a video. That is my pretty much top tips of how to get clients as a personal trainer. I hope that helped. I'm sure you can take something away from the video. And apart from that, give the video a like, thumbs up, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Over and out.